This is Brandon, my advisor. Miss Maria is my advisor, and she is probably the person that has had the biggest impact on my life. It just seemed like he was really passionate about what he was doing and maybe actually want to go to the teen center more. She knows what she's talking about. When she's going to tell you something, she's going to make sure you thoroughly understand. And at the end of the day, you'll learn a life lesson. She's been my Yoda, if you want to call it that. So this is Melissa. This is my advisor. I've known her for about five years now. She's basically at this point like a second mom to me. She always makes you feel loved and invited and everything. Just very compassionate. Thank you. The best part about being involved with child and youth programs is definitely every single time a new youth walks in the door because it's an opportunity for you to get to know who they are and see what kind of things and talents they can bring into the program. When a teen is advised and you mentor them, you see them grow literally as a person to their core. That's probably the biggest highlight is just seeing like Liliana go from a quiet art kid to the personality, the advocate that she is today. It warms my heart to know that they did it on their own, even if I guide them, but I watch them just, just flourish. The one thing that I want people to know about ha having an advisor is that they love you. They're here for you and they love you, but you have to be open to letting them into your life. They're for your success. They're for seeing the potential and seeing you succeed. And like, that has made the biggest impact on my life. The most meaningful thing about advising a military team for me was the ability to help them reach them their best self. And just watching them succeed, like I feel accomplished because they can go out and accomplish, and that's what matters to me. The best part about being involved with child and youth programs is working with the teens. I, I think that they need an advocate. Um, most of the time their voices are not heard, and I think the teen center is a great place for that. It is our job to make sure that every kid in that center, you know, succeeds in life, and, you know, it's, it's our mission. I have been involved with child and youth programs since 1988. I've seen so many children come through the youth programs, I have seen people get married and then their children are coming back to the youth center. So it's been very rewarding. She has just inspired me to be a better advisor to other youth um, and, and makes me definitely step out of my comfort zone. The most meaningful part of advising teens has been to see their face light up with all of the new experiences that they're having. Um, I know in particular with Asha, watching her take that title of National Military Youth of the Year was probably one of, I would say one of my top five in my life of moments that I will forever cherish. And as a youth development professional, it's, it's that moment when you've realized like, oh my gosh, like this is why we do our job. This is why we stay up late. We have those late night conversations. I, I cherish of being able to work in an environment where I have teens that feel like family. They feel like my own kids. Um, I'm so grateful for the opportunity to be able to have a job where I get to help make a difference in youth lives, but also the impact that they've had on my life and, and who I am and how they have helped me grow, not just as a youth development professional, but as a, as a person. 